I got a thumbs up. Drivers behind the lines. In three, two, one, go. Welcome to playoff match nine. We are in the lower brackets. So the loser of this match will be eliminated. So both teams will compete like crazy to maintain their availability in the elimination bracket. The Blue Lions already sitting pretty high with 10 points for their autonomous period. The Red Lions not able to quite make the scores 33 to 26, but plenty of time remaining to, to change that. 39 47 immediately making their way over to their opponent's side of the robot, causing a little bit of damage and a head shake from the ref. 135 Pen Robotic. Placing the cube into the lower part of their grid and now maneuvering to place a cone in the high part of their grid, scoring five points for their alliance if they're able to successfully complete that. 17-20, that's fixed gears, also the red alliance, maneuvering to place into their grid as well. Remember, it's two points for the bottom of the grid, three for the center, and five for the high. But that's not the only way teams can make points during this match. 39-47 making unique use of their claw grabber mechanism to push their cone into their community and into the lower part of their grid. Links aren't as important as they were during qualification matches. Remember, links are three pieces placed horizontally. They can still get five points for that, but the rank point is no more. 1720 making use of their tongue mechanism with their human player to pick it up and maneuver it into the field of play for use in the rest of the game. 1741, red alert, that's our home team. Also making use of their charge, or sorry, a loading area and their human player station to bring pieces in. 1720 giving a little bit of bumper and bumper action to slow their opponents down. About a minute remaining in the match, and the scores are a little close so far. 1741, Red Alert making their way back into their loading area to interact with their human player. The human player can deliver cones or cubes in a variety of different ways into their teammates' robots' hands. They'll then take that over to their grid to score points for their alliance. A little bit of bumper on bumper action here in the center of the field. We almost made a little square that is allowed as long as the contact time is minimized. We've now moved to the end game in the last 30 seconds of the match. We'll see teams making their way over to their charge station like 4485 has done. They're looking to get that in a balanced or engaged position to gain extra points for their alliance. The Blue Alliance looking to get two robots up at the moment. We'll have to see if they go for three. About eight seconds remaining in the match. Red Alliance going for all three robots. They're trying to get it level. They need it to be engaged. They are the Blue Alliance with two. That was the end of playoff match nine. And here are your scores for playoff match nine. Your winners are the Blue Alliance. The Blue Alliance Alliance 6 stays on to play another game. We'll next see them continuing in the lower bracket in match 12. Unfortunately, our members of the 8 Alliance losing twice has been eliminated. We want to thank 1720, that's fixed gears, 135, that's your Pen Robotics Black Knights, and 4485. That is Tribe Tech Robotics. We want to thank you so much for participating today and competing like crazy.